have. Ah, that was great. Oh, we've got to stop doing this. Brian, I love London. I think we should really consider coming back for our honeymoon. Uh, and really check out the site, you know? Uh -huh. Shopping and everything. What do you think? Yeah, it's not such a bad idea. Okay, good. Especially after spending the last four days in bed. But I'm not complaining. Oh, Molly, come on. Champagne? We just run six miles. I know. I lost a lot of fluids. Toast, come on. To us. To London. I love you. I love you, honey. Mm -hmm. I love you. Hey. Hey. We haven't got time for this. My uncle's expecting us in two hours. I want to be punctual, okay? Okay. Would you just okay. take a shower or something? Well, maybe I will. If you come uh, with me. I am wasted. <laughs> come on. Just a few minutes. Okay. Five minutes, that's all. Make it ten. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, hmm? this letter, I can't make out his directions at all. Famous Usher scrawl. Probably some sort of weirdo or something. That bad. I mean, he did send us the tickets to come here, after all. And you've never met him before. I never have. All I know is he used to be quite an artist. What do you mean, used to be? Where the hell are we? It's not on the map. Let me see. I think we're lost, Navigator. Just keep going straight. It's that way. Female intuition. What is it? What? Uh, it's another migraine. Want me to drive? No, it's okay. Okay. Ryan, watch out! husband will take care of everything, dear. Mr. Ryan will be fine. Trust me. No, no, I, I can't leave him. He's, he's, Come along. You know, 
No, he's hurt. I can't leave him. He's got, we have this accident. There were these kids. I can't leave him. He's... This will make you feel better. Thank you. You Americans never travel light. Oh, I'm, I'm a hairdresser in Los Angeles and I brought all my stuff. Why don't you lie down, miss? Oh, God, I hope he's okay. Shh. Is the hospital called yet? Everything will work out just fine. She's resting, darling. Any news on Ryan? Uh, we've just had word from the hospital, miss. Injuries are superficial. Just a few... Cuts and bruises. He's going to be fine. Just fine. Thank God. When can I see him? He's been heavily sedated. The doctor says he shouldn't receive visitors until tomorrow. At the earliest. Oh, no. I have to go now. I want to go. I have to see him. As soon as you feel better, dear. My husband will be happy to drive you into town. Young Mr. Ryan's uncle has asked for your company at dinner, miss. If you'll sleep now, my wife will call you in an hour or two. Look your finest, miss. Impress the in-laws, if you know what I mean. Thank you. So nice to be What's your name? Is there something wrong? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you. I'm sorry. Dinner, Miss McNulty. I'm sorry, Miss, but what you're wearing is simply not suitable for dinner at the Ushers. Why not? You see, Mr. Roderick has an acute sensitivity to light. Certain colors can bring on vicious headaches. Let me provide you with something a little more tasteful. Fine. Fine. 
Are you wearing perfume? Yes, why? Odors. Mr. Roderick simply cannot tolerate strong odors. isn't it? I wonder who it belonged to. Thank you. You want to try some? Does Roderick live here alone? Yes, although the house has 24 bedrooms. Those are the kids I saw on the road before the accident. That's not possible. They've been dead for a hundred years. The house is very old. It's still settling. Excuse me? This was all marshland hundreds of years ago. Everything is sinking including the house. Hospital? Yes, I did just a, a few moments ago. Um, his arm is going to be a little bit sore, but uh, it should heal in a few weeks' time. Just worried about him. I tell you what, you don't have to be worried because uh, he's an usher. He's very strong, you see. And besides that, he's asked me to treat you like one of the family. May I? show you something. Of course. That's my mother. She's beautiful. Yeah. Mm. My nephew has very good taste. Thank you. Shall we eat? Yes. Where's the salt, please? Sorry, I'm just not used to such British cooking, I guess. Well, that's all very well for you, young lady, but I prefer my food this way. In actual fact, I insist on it this way. Strong odors. They can bring on the most severe headaches. Mm, migraines. Sir? Clive, will you tell your wife I do not expect horse meat to be served at my table? How's yours? It's fine, really. Would you like to try some of mine? Ah, uh, no, thank you very much. I have lost my appetite. But enough about food. Tell me about yourself. 
What's a beautiful woman like you doing wanting to become a barber? Hairstylist, not a barber. And it's an honorable profession. Tell me, what about your people? What about your parents? My dad's an electrician, and my mom sells Avon. Avon. You know, like the perfume. That wasn't exactly what I had in mind. What do you mean? I mean, are they healthy? My great-grandmother lived to be 98. My family had a less fortunate history. The English side of the ushers, I'm afraid. Their fortunes have diminished along with their numbers. <laughs> you sound like Ryan. I don't believe in bad luck myself. Sorry about the, the scene at dinner. It's just that... <laughs> We're all on edge. I want to visit Ryan first thing in the morning. Do you think Mr. Derek could give me a ride into town? Oh. <laughs> Please, let me, let me do, do the honors, would you? <laughs> oh, I see. The, the young romantics. You probably haven't spent a night apart for weeks, have you? Almost since the first day that we met. I can't wait till we get married. Molly. Good night. <coughs> Please forgive. Forgive me. Can't tolerate perfumes, odors. Must you be such a slob? What had it, Clive? First the plate's dirty, then the meat tastes like horse flesh. Gwendolyn's clumsy. I told you. You'll need to be patient a little longer. For what? A bonus? He promised you a bonus at Christmas. What did you get? A leather-bound history of the Usher family. I don't like this business with the American girl. Get another job. Won't be easy. Can't cook. A terrible housekeeper. Shut up, Clive. What do you expect? Buckingham Palace? The place is sinking into a marsh. Let the goddamn us eat frozen dinners for all I care. Hold your tongue, woman. <laughs> Yeah. 
you. Come back. He was in the hospital. When they finally released him from the car, he had lost so much blood. It was hopeless. No, you're wrong. He was alive when I left him. It was too late to telephone the hospital. You see, it's, it's a long trip into town. They are drastically short of style. Oh, my God, you're crazy. You're crazy. You must understand, we did the best for Ryan. It is part for the family, but the family takes care of itself. He was the last of all my family. He was my nephew. Do you think that I do not miss him? Take her to her room. No. No, no. I, I don't want to leave him. Oh, no. No. Ryan. It has been a difficult time for us all. We are all tired. I will see you tomorrow. We will have a memorial service. Just a little more, miss. Come along. No, wait. Wait, wait, no. Wait, no, wait, no.
taxi company. I need a taxi at the Escher Mansion. How soon can you be here? We'll send a taxi by in about an hour. What do you mean an hour? This is an emergency. That'll take some doing, Mum. I don't care what it takes. Just get here immediately. We'll do our best, Mum. Do better than your best. Do you understand? breakfast snack miss no thank you i'm not hungry but you must keep up your strength at least try some hot tea okay um could you just put it on the chair please i know you've got a lot on your mind but while you're here could you do something with my hair um sure uh Here's some mousse. Why don't you try spiking it? It's nice. Men love spiked hair. Really? Your team is. I need to take your tray back. Good girl.
Sir, you must be Molly. I'm Dr. Bailey. I'm sorry about your fiance. Roderick said it was hopeless. I don't believe him for a minute. I'm afraid he's right. These um, rural surgeons are just butchers. But to do nothing, I mean, to just let Lion die like that? His own nephew? Oh, I'm just thinking that he tried to do something. We've got to get out of here. This place is full of lunatics. They're evil. Oh, come now. My father was the usher's family physician for 55 years. They may be a bit eccentric, but not evil. What about Roderick? You sound less like one of the town folk. They claim the family has a rare blood disorder through centuries of inbreeding. I wouldn't be surprised. And that the disease strikes them down in the prime of their lives. And Roderick? He has an advanced condition of arthritis. Nothing more. Red <sighs> blood disorders. It's horrible. Please just get me out of here, please. All right. But you're making a big mistake. This way. <laughs> Somewhere, Molly. Dr. Bailey is loyal only to the Usher family, I assure you. Only to the Usher family. Molly, this is going to be a, a simple physical examination. Nothing to worry about. For God's sake, Roderick, give the girl some privacy. Oh, yes. I shall be outside if you should need me. Take your clothes off, please. Go to hell. You've just been involved in a major accident. I'm fine. I can always get Roderick to do it for you. Did you leave the room? I am a doctor. You're in very good shape. You Americans are so, um, athletic. Everything. Take off everything. Things in working order. She's even ovulating. Molly. Molly, I'm so very sorry it had to be done like this, but there's so little time. My family is dying out. And now that Ryan is gone, I'm the last of the line. So I have to fight the bride. That is why I've chosen you. Don't touch me. You make me sick. I don't wish to hurt her. Why won't she accept me? Women, what can I say? She's a beautiful girl. Those firm legs. Absolutely beautiful. Perhaps she needs someone younger. A bit, um, healthier. What are you suggesting? Oh, nothing really. But if you need a stand-in, you can always call on me. <laughs>
I always wanted to be a doctor. But I was born to the wrong family. Be a butler, my mother would say. Your grandfather was a butler, your father was a butler. It's an honorable profession. But I aspired to different things. I thought I was born for greatness. Apparently not. Strip, doctor. <gasps> what? I said, strip, doctor. It's time now for your physical. a story to tell you, Doctor. It's about a street urchin that nobody loved. It's about the rat in this cage. Mm. He hasn't been fed for days. Mm. And I mean, days. He's so hungry. He's almost mad. As easy as carving a turkey, sir. No doubt our little friend is looking forward to stuffing it. Life begins and ends in this very room for every member of my family. Let us prepare ourselves for our last words. Let us pray. to join our hands in prayer. We pray for the deliverance of Ran's soul into the hands of the Lord, where he may join other generations who have stood before him. Generations who have suffered the inhumanity, 
injustice, a slow and painful death. May his journey into freedom be a swift one.
My name is Walter. I'm Roderick's brother. You must be Molly. I saw you arrive. I'm sorry to hear about your young man. The boy's better off dead. How can you say that? I hardly call this a life. But he was your own flesh and blood. Precisely. We can none of us escape from the cloud that hangs over our life. Brian was a good boy. I think he's still alive. He's dead, Molly. Brian is dead. Roderick spent months preparing for your arrival. Or so they tell me. I don't understand. He... I haven't seen my brother in 15 years. Even though we only live one floor apart. We were inseparable as boys. Now he's afraid to look me in the eye. I'm a mirror. Dear young lady. I am a mirror. Into Roderick's future. His brain will start to disintegrate. Will you pass me that box? My mother. Genevieve Usher, once the most beautiful woman in Europe. Died a morphine addict. <laughs> look, look, this is me. I gotta go. I... We could help each other. How? I must get away from here. I refuse to spend the last days of my life as Roderick's prisoner. I can't help you. You can drive a car. I can't get anywhere in this thing. I'll look for you in the morning. We could escape together. I'm sorry, I can't. You don't trust me. Don't trust me. I don't know. I don't know who to trust anymore. Roderick had Ryan killed. What? It's true. I saw it when Derek dragged the boy from the car. He was still alive. I saw him talking. Why? Why would he want to kill Ryan? Because Why? Of you. Because of you. Roderick wants to sire the last of the ushers. He has chosen you as his vessel. That invitation to Ryan was just an excuse to get you here. I would never let him touch me, ever. He has his ways. I want the usher line to stop. But Roderick doesn't. I would never inflict this pain on on anyone. I am your friend. Molly, I... I am your friend. You must trust me. Okay. Okay, then let's go. I have just one thing to do first. Then we'll escape in the morning. I'll start a shower, miss.
You're lucky. We've got hot water for a change. Drink up, miss. Brian's alive, isn't he? You've had a long day, miss, full of emotional ups and downs. He never died in the accident, did he? Did he? Did he? God damn it, tell me what is going on! Just take the drink. Make it easy on yourself, Molly. Right. And live like you do? You can't fight them. Well, I'm sure as hell gonna try. I love Ryan more than anything in the world. But you would know about that, would you? I used to feel that way about Clive. We were married when I was 15. He was a dashing older man. He used to make me feel so special. I was swept off my feet. And now look at you. It's too late. It's not too late for me. He's full of narcotics. Herbal remedies my mother taught me. It's about all I do really well. Roderick wanted you sedated. I can't help you escape, Molly. I can't. They might try to hurt Gwendolyn. Is there a problem, ladies? Will you excuse us, my dear? have lots of time. We can take all night if you like. Drink up. Please just let me go. Drink up! Move! No, you're hurting me. 
Christopher, you don't like perfume, Roderick? This is for you, you son of a bitch. What's your favorite, Mr. Walter? New potatoes. Walter? made a miraculous recovery. Come on. Uh, no, I, I've been all through the house. Trust me. I can't find a way out. Come on. Uh, we haven't got much time. What about Ryan? It's too late for him. I know that he's still alive. Impossible. I'm not leaving this house without... It's impossible. Oh. How could you? The same way. 
but I can do this. No more 
wax figures. <laughs> no more child's play. Smile. Let me see you smile. I want to see you smile.
Of you to invite me down here after all this time. <laughs> Is it like looking into a time machine? <laughs> mm? It isn't often that a man has the privilege of contemplating his own mortality. I have left an heir. You've left nothing. I did leave something. <laughs> I had a son. You had him slaughtered. Oh, yes. I am Ryan's father. And I say, there shall be no more ashes. And that goes for your unborn child. <laughs> ashes die tonight. I'm, I'm going to kill you. She's going to die, Roderick!
hell are we? It's not on the map. Let me see. Look. I think we're lost, Navigator. Turn around. It's back the other way. Turn around. Female intuition.